discussing the Savannah Schools Credit Union um, located in Savannah, Georgia. Um, a little bit of an outline for you. We're going to discuss the economic environment in 2008-2009, major findings of my analysis, um, including profitability, productivity, asset quality, capital adequacy, asset liability management, and summary of all of those things. So an overview, they're located, as I said, in Savannah, Georgia. As of 2009, they had $25 million in assets and nine total full-time employees with zero part-time employees. Um, their membership eligibility eligibility was originally only open to Chatham County teachers, but um, they kind of repositioned themselves and grew and extended their eligibility to Savannah Chatham County Public School System, Savannah Technical College, and Oatland Island Center and their close families. Um, as I said, they started business in 1954 and um, their first freestanding branch was built in, I believe, 2003. Um, so, they offer a variety of uh, credit products including loans, automobile loans, uh, mortgage loans, um, and personal loans up to $1,500. So the environment of the 2008 and 2009, in 2007 we began to see um, major corporations that have been open for hundreds of years begin to fail. Um, uh, the interest rates plummeted, unemployment grew to 10% um, and the housing values, which a lot of people were investing in dropped 30% uh, so a lot of people lost a lot of their savings at the time um, and because of the high interest uh, the high interest rates uh, loan, de loan delinquency and defaults increased because people were losing their jobs um, so for 2008 and 2009 SSCU booked losses um, but these losses were very near the peer average um, because the spread was really large both years. The asset quality was excellent because they do uh, tend to make good quality loans, um, but unfortunately they lend out less than half of their assets, uh, their cash and other assets, um, so the composition of that is majority cash, less than half loans. Um, and their loan portfolio, as I said, was excellent. Capital adequacy for 2008 and 2009 was average. Um, their liability management, um, most reasonable people at the end of 2009 believed that interest rates were about to be climbing. And so uh, many credit unions and banks um, kind of pulled in their long-term assets and started investing more in short-term and cash. But it looks like SSCU tends to overprotect, um, which we'll see later. So the profitability, as I said, they booked losses for both years, but they were near pure average. Um, their yield on average loans was better than 85% of their peers, but their cost of funds was really high, higher than 85% of the peers, which offset their profitability um, and brought them back down to pure average. Um, so their return on assets, um, they lost $0.36 cent for every $100 in, um, deposited, while uh, their peers gained $0.30 cent for every $100 in 2008. And both, uh, they lost $0.18 cent for every $100, and their peers lost $0.13 cent for every $100, but as I said, they were right on average for both years. Um, the productivity for this uh, Credit union seems to be a bit of an issue just because um, they tend to make very small loans compared to their peers and um, they pay their workers, their um, salaries are higher than the peers. 
So number of members per full-time employee, they have 407 members per employee, um, while their peers have 448, which is around average. Um, and in 2009, they had 405 members, um, while their peers have 456, which is again average. Um, average loan balance, while they were making really good solid loans, they were loaning out um, one third smaller loans than their peers. Um, so in 2008, they were below average, they were below more than 70% of the peer group, and in 2009, they were below 80% of the peer group with their loan size. Um, salary and benefits, they pay their workers on average $2,000 more a year for both years, and because of that, they were significantly higher um, than their peer group for both years. Their asset quality, um, like I said, their loan composition was less than half of their uh, total assets, but the loans that they made are solid. They don't let a lot of delinquent loans stay on their portfolio, and they tend to charge off loans better than other um, peer groups. Um, and while most credit unions loan portfolios weakened in 2009, there is actually improved. Uh, so delinquent loans to total loans, only 0.85% uh, of their total loan, of their total loans become delinquent, which is missing two payments or being late two payments, um, while their peer average for 2008, 1.58% um, of their loans were delinquent, um, so they were better than 60% 60, 60 of their peer group, and in 2008 they were better than 70% um, of their peer group because only 0.6% of their loans were delinquent, while 1.78% um, of loans for the peer group were delinquent. Um, net charge-offs, they're a little higher than most other credit unions in their peer group, but as I said, this is just um, typical of a management team that is um, aggressive with charging off their bad loans. Capital adequacy for both 2008 and 2009 was um, average for the peer group. Um, they had adequate capital to support their loan portfolio for years to come. Um, so their net worth to total assets um, was around average for the peer group. So this means um, sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, anyways, they were they were average for both years uh, with their net worth to total assets. Um, total delinquent loans, um, while two point eight seven percent of their uh, loans to net worth were delinquent, 8.9% of the peer group were delinquent, which made them better off than almost 70% of the peer group. And for 2009, um, they were better off than 78% of the peer group, with only 1.89% of their loans becoming delinquent, uh, loans to net worth, sorry, um, and the peer group having 9.52% delinquent loans to net worth. Um, for asset liability management, as I said, um, most reasonable people expected an interest rate climb in the 2000 year, uh, 2010 year. So um, most banks were pulling in those long-term assets, but it seems that they overprotected themselves and sacrificed profits that they could have made with their um, yield on loans. So, the let, uh, net long-term assets to total assets, they were average for the peer group, loaning out about 16.99% of their total assets um, to, to long-term loans, uh, while the peer group in eight, 2008 loaned out 18.73, and for 2009 they loaned out 15.37% of their um, total assets into long-term loans, while the peer group did 18.23. Um, so 
So again, average for both years. Now, um, in their finance, in their financials, um, they did bring in more cash and short-term investments. They did worse than their peer group. Um, they actually did worse than 88% of the peer group in 2008, uh, loaning out 40% of their total assets, um, while others loaned out 25% of their total assets. <clears throat> or they, sorry, they invested in cash and short-term investments. Um, and in 2009, they were worse than 95% of their peers. Core deposits, which are the staple deposits um, that they want, their um, uh, core deposits to total shares and borrowing, sorry, um, the credit union uh, kept 33.45 percent um, as compared to 56.50 which was worse than 80 something percent of their peer group and again in 2009 they did worse than 80 percent almost into the bottom 10 percent of the peer group. Um, total loans to total assets like, um, like we discussed earlier they loaned out less than half of their um, total assets into long-term loans. 46 um, percent of their loans in 2008 and 41% in 2009, which was worse than almost 80% of their peers. And uh, as we talked about before, their cost of funds was really high. So the fact that they're sitting on so much cash uh, that's costing them so much and not making profit on it at all is worse off for their profitability. Um, so the summary of the major findings, their profitability Profitability, while they book losses, was on pure average. Um, their asset quality was excellent, though they didn't loan out very much money. Um, and the portfolio quality was excellent. Um, they do a really good job of charging off bad loans and classifying others. Um, the capital adequacy, is, which is the cushion for their depositors, was um, substantial and was average for the peer group and their asset liability management they definitely over protected themselves and sacrificed a lot of profits um, but their depositors were really in no danger from adverse effects of the interest rate climb. 